Low back pain. What are the important facts about low back pain? No definite etiology is found in about 85% of the patients. 90% of patients with a single episode of low back pain return to work within six weeks. Most patients get better with time. History of low back pain is the single most important factor predicting future occupational low back pain. Low back pain is the second most common cause of work absenteeism. Persistent back pain more than 6 months constitute 4% of the cases. The disability is closely linked to compensation and litigation. The least amount of pressure on the desk is measured with the person lying supine. The highest desk pressure is measured while the person is sitting, leaning forward and carrying a load in the arm. By keeping the weight of the load close to the body, this reduces the compressive forces placed on the lumbar spine. Yoga activities and exercises performed during sitting probably have less pressure being placed on the desk. What are the physical factors which lead to low back pain? Lack of fitness, lifting heavy objects, holding the loads close to the body is important to reduce the compressive forces on the lumbar spine. Operating motor vehicles, prolonged sitting, operating vibrating tools, history of cigarette smoking, nicotine causes disc degeneration, it interferes with the vascularity of the spine and denutrition of the discs. These are the most common physical factors which lead to low back pain. Sports-related activities can lead to low back pain. These are examples of sports-related activities that can lead to low back pain. Golf. Pain results from twisting and excessive forward bending and overarching of the spine during the swing. After the age of 40, the person loses 50% of the rotational movement of the spine. It is important to perform stretching and warm-ups before starting the game. Horseback riding. Vibration caused by horseback riding increases the load on the discs. Back muscles work constantly to keep your posture straight. Caring for horses could be bad for the back due to the bending and the lifting associated with their care. So what is the etiology of low back pain? Virtually any structure in the spine and close to the spine can hurt and can cause what seems to be low back pain. The facet joints, the intervertebral discs, the spinal canal and the nerve roots, the sacroiliac joints, the muscles, the ligaments, the nerves, the hip joint, the periformis syndrome, and the trochanteric bursitis. What are the red flags for cancer? Patient over 50 years of age, Pain at rest and at night, unexplained weight loss, history of cancer, bone destruction involving the pedicle is pathognomonic, the wink owl sign of the vertebrae. What are the red flags of infection? Diabetes mellitus, intravenous drug abuse, fever, urinary tract infection, or previous surgery on the spine. Physical exam, 
your initial assessment should focus on red flags. Is there a fracture or a tumor or infection or a coda equina syndrome? So what are the symptoms and signs of coda equina syndrome? Back pain more than leg pain, bladder or bowel disturbances, bilateral leg pain and weakness, saddle anesthesia, rectal and genital area sensory changes. In the absence of red flags, imaging studies are usually not helpful in the first four to six weeks. It's hard to explain to the patient why you did not get an x-ray. Although not getting an early x-ray is a good patient care, but it may lead to suboptimal patient satisfaction. Intensive workup may not be necessary in the early stages of routine low back pain. Treatment of low back pain, conservative treatment, anti-inflammatory medication, and muscle relaxant are usually helpful. Physiotherapy is an important aspect of the treatment, and it should be done as soon as pain control is achieved. You may want to use a soft brace or a corset. A second most important aspect of treatment is to return to work. This combination of physiotherapy and return to work is important. So if a patient sustains a chronic disabling occupational low back pain without any intensive rehab, there is a 50% chance to go back to work if the person is out of work for six months. The chance to go to work drops to 20% if the person is out of work for one year. The chance of going back to work is almost none if the person is out of work for more than two years. So it is important to do therapy and encourage the patient to go back to work. And the best treatment for acute low back pain is to continue with the ordinary daily activities within the limits permitted by the pain. The best treatment for low back pain is for the patient to go to work. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.